student athletes. That's what they call them at the NCAAs as we get ready for the 100 meter hurdles collegiate NCAA meet record. Also American record holder, Brianna Rollins. She did that here just in 2013 and became the world champion. And here's the number one hurdler in the college ranks. Kenny Harrison of Kentucky. Can anybody watch, can anybody beat her? She spends a lot of time preparing for her races. Let's find out how she plans for success. I plan for success by um, studying my event, studying the 100 hurdles and 400 hurdles with my coach, um, watching film and trying to go out there and mimic what um, I need to fix and to be the best I can be. She's done that very, very well, Dwight, and she is just a ferocious competitor. Not only is she the best collegiate hurdler, she ranks number two, the number two performer in the world this year in this event. She is absolutely headed for great things, and this has been a stellar year for her, particularly after some fall injury things that she managed to, with her coach to work through. But the training has gone well. She's explosive out of the blocks. Watch how quickly she splits that hurdle and gets the lead leg down to drive to the next one. Jade Barber will be in lane four from Notre Dame. Outside of Kendra Harrison, Bridget Owens of Florida could also give her a chase. If she looks anything like she did in the semifinals, it'll be over halfway through the race. Harrison out very well from the front, along with Bridget Owens. And now here comes Kenny Harrison. Just like in the semifinal, but on the inside from Michigan, Cindy Ophelia also giving a very good run here. That was no gimme for Harrison, and she does win the title. And you're, you're, that's a good point, Dwight. 12.55, outstanding time. Her second fastest in the world this year was 12.50 seconds, and the wind is legal. 1.7 meters per second translates to about four miles an hour. She is under the two-meter barrier to make it illegal, so this could be considered for record purposes, and it's just a great, great run by her. Watch her just explode. She's very quick between the hurdles, gets her lead leg down exceptionally fast, and notice how she's leaning forward just a little bit. She's in position to attack that next hurdle. Ophelia was terrific. Here we see them again. Watch her form, and to her left is Bridget, to her right is Bridget Owens, a world-class hurdler as well. What a future this woman has, Kenny Harrison. Look at how tight this finish was. Cindy Ophelia gave her everything that she could handle right down to the end. And Dwight, she was only five one hundredths of a second behind Kenny Harrison. So 12.55 for Harrison, most of the field under 13. Dior Hall qualified last, went all the way up to third place 